Are we good? Are we rolling? Yeah. Okay. We're good. Okay. Well, hello, Lewis Lane kids. This is Pastor Shan, and we're going to spend a couple minutes together on the computer answering questions that kids have about the Bible. And so the first question that we're going to look at is from a little girl from Dinky Town, Ohio. And it says that her name is Pinky Winky. Wait, Pinky Winky from Dinky Town? Is that real? Is is that a real little girl, Pinky Winky from Dinky Town? Um, no. Okay, we can't lie to these kids. We can't just make up names uh, or make up towns. Um, so, so where did this question actually come from? Some girl who lives downstairs. Is this a real girl? Yes. All right, let's let's try it again. All right, action. Well, hello, Lewis Lane. This is Pastor Shan. We're going to answer some questions from kids, uh, questions that kids have about the Bible. So um, this first quick, wait a minute, what's, what's her name? What's the, the, what's the real girl's name? Um, L. You're going to edit this, right? Yeah, sure. All right, here we go. Um, so hey, kids, we got a question here from L. And her question is, Dear Pastor Shan, what do we know about Jesus as a child? Well, this is a great question, L. Um, and I'm excited to say that to answer this question, we have FaceTimed one of our most beloved and longest serving Sunday school teachers. We're going to FaceTime Miss Pauline Flanell. And she's agreed to answer this question for us. Uh, Miss Pauline, can you hear us? Miss Pauline, maybe her Wi-Fi isn't good enough for FaceTime. Uh, Miss Pauline? Hello? Hello? Is that you, God? Is that you, God? Speak, Lord, for your servant hears you. Speak, Lord. Uh, Hello? Well, Miss Pauline, it's, it's not God. It's Pastor Shan. Remember, you're on FaceTime so that you can answer our question for the Bible study today. Oh, so, this isn't God? No, ma'am. The phone is right in front of you. Oh, yes. Yes. I remember. Thank you. You, you could begin now. Oh, well, hello, boys and girls. I am so glad to be with you here today. I want everyone to sip ap crisscross applesauce and put your little hands in your lap. Now, Bo, you keep your hands to yourself. We can't start the lesson until you are still and quiet. Miss Pauline, all of the kids are at home in self-quarantine. Bo, I said be quiet. Now, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about Jesus as a child. As many of you know, Jesus' father was Joseph, and his mother was Mary. But Mary and Joseph, before Jesus was ever born, they had to travel to a town called Bethlehem in order to be counted by the government. While they were in Bethlehem, they couldn't find a room at the inn, so they had to find a stable. And it was a stable in which Jesus was born. A stable full of smelly, stinky animals. Which reminds me, did I ever tell you about my pet bunny? His name was Fufu. He was a spirited bunny. I remember telling him, little bunny Fufu, stop hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice. Uh, Miss Pauline, uh, Miss Pauline, you think we could get back to the Bible story? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Baby Jesus was born in Bethlehem. But one night, Joseph was warned in a dream that he must leave Bethlehem because Jesus was in danger. So Joseph picked up his little family, moved them in the middle of the night to a country called Egypt so he could keep them safe. And then later, here we go. 
he went from Bethlehem to Egypt. And then later on his safe, he traveled, they traveled all the way up here to Nazareth. Okay, boys and girls, let's go on a Nazareth trip. We're going on a Nazareth trip. We're going on a Nazareth trip. Uh, Miss Pauline. Uh, um, Miss Miss Pauline. Miss Pauline. Um. Now Joseph was a carpenter, so that means that he taught Jesus also how to be a carpenter. Boys and girls, a carpenter is someone who works with wood, or it could be. Part of a 70s brother-sister singing duo called the Carpenters. That Karen Carpenter had an angelic voice. Would you like for me to sing one of her songs to you? I'm on the top of the world looking down. Okay. Creation yeah, and the yeah, just, only just, explanation. Yeah, just mute her. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's good. Well, we'll check back in with Miss Pauling in just a few minutes. Um, let her maybe get that out of her system. Um, but most of what she said was, was a good answer to Elle's question. It gave us a good idea about what Jesus did, or at least what the Bible tells us about Jesus as a young child. We can also look at these verses from Luke chapter 2, verses 41 through 47. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the Feast of the Passover. So this was a big Jewish festival that happened in Jerusalem, and Jesus and his family went to celebrate. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. Uh-oh. Now that sometimes your parents tell you to do something and you don't obey, but as we keep reading, we'll learn that Jesus actually didn't do anything wrong, that this was just a misunderstanding. His parents did not know that he was behind in Jerusalem. But supposing him to be in the group, they went a day's journey, but then they began to search for him among their relatives and acquaintances. So when Jesus' family traveled, they traveled together in a big, big group of family. So it took them about a day before they realized that he wasn't in the group. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, searching for him. And after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers. Do you remember how old Jesus was when this story happened? He was twelve. And so, even though he was just a, a boy, he was in the temple where they worshipped God and where they learned about God and where people taught about the scriptures. And this is where he was. He'd been there for days now. They found him sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking questions. This is verse 47. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. So even though Jesus was only 12, people could already tell there was something really special about this guy, that he had incredible wisdom, incredible insight and knowledge about God and understanding about the scriptures. Well, that's pretty cool to learn that detail about Jesus' life as a, a young boy. Um, maybe we could check back in with Miss Pauline to see if she has anything else that she wants to add to what we've learned today. Uh, uh, Miss Pauline? Miss Pauline, are you, are you there? Miss Pauline! God? God, is that you? God? Uh, no, Miss Pauline, it's just me, Shan, again. I, I was just wondering if there was anything else that you wanted to add to our study this morning. Oh, yes. I would like to say one more thing. We learned about how Jesus was a baby and how he grew up and he was a carpenter. But I want you to look with me at a, in the Bible at the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 52. In that verse, it tells us it tells us that Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. What that means, boys and girls, is that Jesus grew smarter and wiser. 
and that Jesus grew up, physically grew up. And it means that he grew in favor of God, which means God was so proud of Jesus and loved him so much. And it also means that he grew in favor of men, which means the people around him truly admired and loved Jesus. Boys and girls, God wants us to grow in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man as well. And the way that we do that is by reading our Bibles and praying to God and worshiping with other Christian people and fellowshipping with, fr with Christian friends. All those things are going to help us to grow in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. Boys and girls, I'm so glad that you were here with me today. And I hope that you will enjoy this time and enjoy your time in your Bible and in prayer. Thank you so much for coming. You know, Miss Pauline, that actually is a great last word for us to think about. You know, God, he, he loves each of you kids and he wants to spend time with you. Just like Jesus was spending time with God in the temple, God wants to spend time with you as well. But because of our sins, because of... Um, the times that we have disobeyed our parents or hurt our friends or said things maybe we shouldn't have said, that's created some distance between us and God. And we actually need Jesus to rescue us from that sin. That when Jesus willingly died on the cross, he took the punishment for our sin so that we could be put back into a right relationship with God. And it's actually when we place our faith in Jesus and we become Christians that we can, like Jesus, grow in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and in favor with men. It's pretty awesome that Jesus makes that possible for us, um, not only to be in a right relationship with God, but to, to grow and to mature and to become the young men and women of God that God wants us to be. I'm so glad that you've um, joined us for this study, I, I hope that you've learned a lot about Jesus as a child. I'm so glad that Miss Pauline uh, walked us through those um, important Bible stories, learning about Jesus as a kid. And maybe you could uh, find a friend or someone that you would want to share this video with. And maybe you guys, uh, you and your family can talk about it um, over dinner in the next couple of days. Would you pray with me as we close out our service? Jesus, thank you so much that we have the Bible so we can know lots and lots about you. Thank you for loving us and, and giving us everything we need. Jesus, please continue to draw these kids to you and continue to give them a desire to know about you and to serve you. Jesus, we love you and we praise you and we pray all this in your name. Amen. Well, kids, thanks for joining us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again next time on Loose Lane Kids Online. It was pretty good. I feel pretty good about that. <sighs> Wait, are the cameras still running? Yep. <sighs> You're going to edit this, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs>